All right, gang, so here's what we're gonna do. We've done all of this stuff with going over kind of like the process of how to set up an experiment. And we're getting to the, the most important thing here, which is trying to make sense out of all of that data. And what we're gonna do is use this little activity called marbles in a container. Now, long story short, here's the question. How does the number of marbles affect the total mass of a container? So I've got a bunch of these random, random marbles, okay? And I've got this container, it's a graduated cylinder. And we're just gonna go through and, uh, and uh, try to do this little experiment that tests this question. So what I want you to do is design and conduct an experiment that tests, once again, the, the question, how does the number of marbles affect the total mass of a container? When you do that, what you're gonna need to, to do is identify the independent and dependent variables in this investigation. You're gonna to need to set up a properly formatted data table and graph, okay? And we've talked about how to do this. This is really important that you set it up correctly. Once you've done that, conduct the investigation, testing the mass of the container, and go from zero marbles all the way up to, to 10 marbles. Um, then conduct at least three trials of each container mass, and then use that to find the average. And last of all, create a graph with the data collected. Now, just to kind of make sure that, that we're all on the same page here, I'm gonna make a video of me going through this and you can use that uh, to, to collect your data. So that way you don't have to worry about setting up the experiment. But what you're gonna to need to do, and this is the most important part, is based on the data you collected, what would be the mass of a container that has 37 marbles in it? Okay, all right, let me know if you have any questions. All right, gang, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are gonna run a simulation of uh, where we are testing the, the question, how does the number of marbles affect the total mass of a container? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do this and just kind of talk out loud. Um, and, and what's gonna happen is we're gonna run a few trials of several different samples of, of marbles in the, in the container. All right, so here we go. Okay, so once this is up and running, this is going to be trial one with zero marbles. All right, next I'm gonna add a marble. So trial one with one marble. Trial one with two marbles. Trial uh, one with three marbles. Trial one with four marbles. Trial one with five marbles. Trial one with six marbles. Trial one with seven marbles, trial one with eight marbles, trial one with nine marbles, and trial one with 10 marbles. All right, so that was the first trial. Do this, okay, so this is trial number two. So trial number two with no marbles. Trial number two with one marble. Trial number two with two marbles. Trial number two with three marbles. Trial number two with four marbles. Trial number two with five marbles. Trial number two with six marbles. Trial number two with seven marbles. Trial number two with eight marbles. Trial number two with nine marbles. 
and trial number two with 10 marbles. Okay, so that's all for trial number two. Let's do trial number three, okay? So trial number three, oh, the lights are going out. There we go. Trial number, trial number three with zero marbles. Trial number three with one marble. Trial number three with two marbles. Trial number three with three marbles. Trial number three with four marbles. Trial number three with five marbles. Trial number three with six marbles. Trial number three with seven marbles. Trial number three with eight marbles. Trial number three with nine marbles. And trial number three with 10 marbles. All right, there we go.